All right. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, September 17th, 2018. This is your daily Forex trading strategy session brought to you by Trader's Way, hosted by Forex.today. Also, with that in mind, um, if since you're on the Forex.today um, YouTube channel anyways, please make sure you subscribe. If you subscribe, what happens is as soon as I click start streaming, you get notified. It goes pa-ching. And if you click on it, it brings you directly into the uh, live webinar. So it's super easy if you do that. Also, if um, the chat area, please feel free to ask questions in there. I'll cover particular currency pairs. I can cover technical analysis, fundamental analysis, trader psychology, or whatever uh, whatever you like. It's your way at Trader's Way with Trader Wayne. Boy, I'm a mess today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, let's just get going, huh? Let me remind you that trading is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Your past performance, good or bad, is not necessarily indicative of uh, future results, but please stay small, stay humble, focus on the long term. Never risk money you cannot afford to lose. My name is Wayne McDonald. It's really nice to meet you. I'm the chief FX market strategist for TradersWay.com. Been trading currencies for uh, well, well, well over a decade. In fact, since retail forex trading uh, began, uh, when I first started trading forex, uh, you opened an account, there was no charts. <laughs> you didn't even have charts. You didn't have charts. So I've been there since the very, very, very beginning. Ah, that's good stuff. So, anyways. Um, I would like to help you become a success sooner than later. Um, of course, the, you have to earn your own success, but I can share the experiences that I've had um, becoming a full-time currency trader. Um, I've done things like quit my fantastic job. Uh, it, you know, Explain that to your wife that you're going to quit your job, become a full-time Forex trader. Hey, I've done that. How about quit your job, become a full-time Forex trader, and then go through a big, long period of horrible trading and horrible trading results? Uh, been there and done that. I've stared in the abyss and uh, survived. Uh, been through all those things that uh, seem to be a normal part of uh, currency trading. Unfortunately, a lot of people fail. It's because they're probably doing it on their own. So anyways, I'd like you to become a success. Traders Way would like you to become a success. And I'm pretty sure you and your family and your loved ones and your friends would love for you to be the hero as well. Um, Traders Way wants you to become a success because it's a symbiotic relationship. See, if you become a success, perhaps because of these webinars and because of our relationship, you and I, uh, you will choose Trader's Way as your, as your broker. You'll fund it with live money and you'll trade and they'll offer you a great service and everybody will be happy. World-class customer service, fast execution speed, competitive spread. So uh, why don't you go check that out? Open up a demo account at uh, tradersway.com. So today we're going to go through uh, mostly technicals. I think I want to start with uh, I want to start with uh, you know let's say the yen pairs, right? Go through the yen pairs together today and uh, see if anything's uh, any of these have set up. We could even go through the Swissy pairs if you want. Uh, I'm sure you want to go through dollar pairs, and then we can go through you know the normal um, the normal routine of checking out. Uh, gold and oil and such. So really anything that you want. Yeah, did I have a rough weekend? Actually, what happened is uh, I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. This, so, this is what it looks like when you wake up at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, so anyways, no problem. You, you're not here because I'm a supermodel. Well, well sorry, ex-supermodel. <clears throat> all right. So sound good? Yen pairs, all that kind of stuff. You're happy with that? Yeah, me three easy. Ba, 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 ba. Let's start top left. Pound yen. Okay, opened out of position. Often uh, 21 axis dynamic level support. And in this case, what a swing trader would expect is that we would hit our target uh, early in the week. 
And that means kind of get up here 149 and a half. Probably in the next three days. Um, yeah, well, that's pretty reasonable money, right? That's uh, so let's let's just say we're at 47, you know, so, um, you know, 250 pips, a little bit more than that, almost 300 pips. In the next two or three days, that's what the charts are telling me. Um, yeah, that's pretty amazing, right? So we'll see. Um, but it also sets up a collapse. So if we do get up or uh, up or near the target in the next uh, 48 hours, it's also likely to come down. Okay, so you'll see like a uh, let's say a, a steep spike, and then a reasonably steep uh, retracement. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at CAD yen. Maybe it's slightly different. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. Not a lot different, right? Again, opened out of position. Now, by the way, this is actually in position for a bearish trade. So if you're a bear, um, you're still thinking about dropping this, right? You're okay with this. It's dangerous because of the 21, but a bear could still do this. Um, I think it's dangerous, okay? I have to say it again just because the 21 does seem to be acting as support. Uh, the pivots seem to be acting as support, but nonetheless, technically speaking, let me double check if this is set up properly. Yeah. Uh, technically speaking, you could sell this. Okay. But it, it's a little more aggressive than typical. Okay. Oh, John says, why are you basing your probabilities of a collapse? It's not a probability of a collapse. It's just technical analysis. Okay. In that case, it's stretching itself to a high target quickly. So let's go back to that uh, that chart here. Okay, um, what what creates this? It's not a collapse, as you're saying, John. Is that whoever's in this now is still in it from last week? Okay, they're still in it from 43. What'll happen is if we get way up here in the cluster of weekly and monthly pivot points around. Uh, Again, 149-ish. Um, they're most likely going to take profit. They're just simply going to say, it's Tuesday, I'm up 600 pips, give me my money and they'll walk. It's not a collapse, it's just profit taking. Because they're like, wow, there's nothing else that's supposed to happen this week. Okay. Okay. Cool, right? So that's all. Not a collapse, just profit taking. If there's a good trend, John, then whoever just made 600 bucks are probably going to try to do it again. And the trend will probably resume. Okay? So anyways, this is what a bear is going to want. A, a bull is looking at the opposite. They're buying it out of position. They'll drive it up. There's the first level of resistance, which I've already identified for you guys last week. Um... Uh, other traders are going to try to get this to about 87, maybe 87.50. Uh, and again, if that happens in the next 48 hours, there'll be profit taking. Okay. Bears want down, bulls want up. Yeah, John, it is a bit um, lagging. Yeah, and on this view, I do have the chat over top of the charts. Sometimes it's just easier to, to see it. It's just something I'm trying. I like it. 
but it's it's just something I created. So if I zoom in, I want to make sure that I can still see the chat while we're zoomed in onto the charts. Okay. Tell me, baby, what's your story? Oh, snap, what? You remember doing this? I know, right? Or did I do this for the swing trading group? Maybe it was the swing trading group. I don't know. I set this up for somebody. I think it was you guys. Down, up, down, up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, this was the scalp down and then the swing up. So we must have done this on Friday. You know what? This might have been the, the swing trading group. So what we ended up doing just to recover it then, um, we were up here on Friday. So we scalped it down into a swing long, which occurred, of course, Monday morning. But that was what we had planned out on Friday. Okay. John says, oh, a bit of harmonics. Yeah, don't get caught into that. Don't call it harmonics. I used triangles. <laughs> I I don't study Gartley patterns and, and bat patterns and butterfly patterns. and I don't study that. Um, uh, that was tainted for me a long, 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 long time ago at the very first Forex Trading Expo ever, the very first one. And I was a speaker, and I went to someone else's presentation because I didn't know any currency traders. I'm like, damn, I'm at this cur currency trading conference. I'm a speaker, yet I don't know any currency traders, right? So I started walking around seeing what other people were doing. And so some guy did, he was about 45 minutes into a one hour presentation about Gartley patterns. And then he realized he made a mistake and he couldn't fix it. There wasn't any time to redo it. And so he's just like, sorry. And that was the end. It was like this 15 minute awkward science, uh, silence. So anyway, so all I did was what I'm trying to say is this was a lower high, lower low. So I'm just trying to cover the fact that there is this move here. And that this was this high. Now this move, if you measure it, is higher than that one, which would predict the higher low. And then I grab this thing and I say this is your sweet spot because in this situation you would fit the reversal. So you know they're just triangles. They're not harmonics. Yeah, they look. It looks like maybe, but. Right. Zip, zip, zip. Yeah, Farrell says uh, 451 San Francisco. Yeah, well, it's not that I'm in holiday. No, I, I was only in uh, Napa Valley. Uh, um, I flew out, spent one night at the um, Los Altos Country Club, which is great. I think they only have 400 members at this place. Absolutely beautiful uh, country club. Supremely snobby. And someone, uh, someone, a member there kind of apologized. I'm like, apologize. I love snobs. Oh my God, love it. <laughs> I'll give you an example. I went somewhere, I was going to look to see uh, uh, if I was going to, I don't know, I was going to wander off and look around, have a cigar, maybe. They didn't even allow it, of course, it's California. But I thought I was going to have a cocktail to the side. So anyways, I grabbed my wife and we go for a little walk. And all of a sudden, a waiter comes up and he's like, oh, this is the worst part of my job. I am so sorry. But I'm going to have to ask you to go back to the party because you are not members. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like midnight. There, there's only our party in the whole entire country club. And you're not members. I'm like, dude, this is the worst part of your job. What was I going to do? Go, go kiss my wife in the corner? Like... Yeah, that's terrible. So anyways, 
I love snobs though. Anyways, so anyways, the next morning I went to Napa, did the wine stuff, then boom, flew home. So no, I'm not still in San Francisco. Although I look like I'm living out of a suitcase. I am not. So and it's so funny. I went there to buy wine and I never did buy any wine. All right, so uh, so yeah, this is not harmonics. It's just technical analysis. <laughs> I know harmonics are a bit of a technical analysis, but I, so anyways, I never studied harmonics, and I know you're supposed to look like the angle of this and the angle, of the, you know, the angle of this and the angle of that should be the angle of this, and this predicts that and that predicts that. Uh, all I'm trying to say in this pattern here is this high is higher than that high, so I'm looking at this as a move, right? Higher lower high lower low that's one move then i see higher high relative to that high so what will i anticipate in the future higher low where would the higher low be look left here's fibonacci here's a pivot point here's another thing so i said how about down to here up to there and of course that's what's happened maybe that is harmonics um but i don't know What was that beast target? Sure, I'll do that again for you. Uh, 149, maybe a little higher. 149 to 149.50. Most likely 149.40. But. Oh, did, was it an eight? Hang on, maybe there's a blur. Hang on, my eyes are so bad now. I said 40, right? I'm sorry. I can't see it. 48, 49, 40. Yeah, sorry, I was only up 900 pips. The conservative target is like 48, 48, 50, I'll say, and 49, really. Aggressive target 49. Sorry about that. Okay. In these situations, what I'm showing you is the technical analysis. You should be able, be able to open up your own chart and get the exact price, right? Right. So, I'm, for again, I'm not trying to put you into trades. So, I'm showing you the technical analysis. I'm showing you it's more bullish than bearish, this kind of stuff. So if you also believe it's going to go up here, all you do is drop in a small time frame and buy a dip. It's not hard, right? And then drive it up to there. And once you get up to this area, which are simply a cluster of pivot points, uh, you should probably look to take profit. You know, what price? Doesn't matter. Anywhere that pink or gray zone. Okay. <clears throat> USDN, want to skip it. Let's do this one. I'll see. Let's see. Uh, I did this on Friday. We were up here. I anticipated profit taking. I anticipated a, a dip back into 79 ish, which is about 79.80 or 79.90. So basically, you're buying it back at 80. Okay. Pretty, pretty logical. Um, just to Again, Captain Obvious here, but last week this was a very clear, obvious uh, swing trade long. Like it literally at whatever that is, 78, 78. Okay, 78, 75 is a long. So, right? Whoever long that, their target was here, which we hit absolutely perfect, 80, 76. Okay. And then on Friday, because of the profit taking, I anticipated it coming back to this area. 79.80, right? And based on that, the theory, not my theory, the theory, is that this should, this could or most likely would go up. Now, I have it going up further, but that's a bigger plan. The conservative target here is 81.50. So there should be another 100 pips left into this. So this is simply a 100 pip move, right? Maybe 200 pips if it gets to 82. Um, but that's what we look for in swing trading group, right? We're looking for, you know, 100 to 200 pip trades, um, just basic swing. So here's like 150, and then this is 150. You know, that's pretty basic. 
Uh, the week before this was a short. Again, you would have shorted around 80, uh, 80 50 targets down here. So just, just over 100, 150 pips. Same as this one, 150 pips. So it should just kind of repeat itself. Right? Very, very straightforward stuff. And uh, here's some Rand. Oh, baby, I want to get with you and take your picture. My homeboy's trying to award me, but the czar is so ugly. All right, so anyways, this uh, I have this as a 3E2 up this roll reversal heading up. Uh, this is a 618. Clearly, the 618 has held. Uh, uh, what do you want to do here? Hmm. Well, see, I look right, or sorry, I look left, and it's not amazing support. It's not perfect. So it's really coming down to really what you want, what you already already want. This is going to be confirmation bias all the way. If you're a bull and you buy a 618, you totally can. It's not good support here, but it's a 618. Perfect 618. It's good. It's like good enough. So if you're a bull, you're going to keep drinking the Kool-Aid until you get USD czar up here. Uh, 618 predicts a 1382. 1382 gets you to the monthly target. Why not? Why would you not believe that? Seems very believable. A bear is going to reverse engineer this whole thing. I can't get rid of this. Okay, let's put this down here. Uh, a bear is going to reverse engineer this whole thing. Yeah, let me just kill that bone. Let's do it this way. A bear is going to reverse this whole thing. First of all, they're looking at that old resistance area that I, I identified as support. That's probably going to be there, 382. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, uh, let me give a couple clicks in. And they're probably, like, this is their selling sweet spot. Okay. A bear is probably going to believe this just as much as a bull's going to believe their nonsense. So let's say, I'll even give it going a little higher. You know, this is what a bear is going to think. And I don't really know which one is going to be which. Uh, if, if I had to guess, like I had to guess, I'd say dollar is more likely to get strong than South African Rand is likely to get strong. But that doesn't mean it, it's true. But, you know, I don't think the world would be shocked if South African Rand got a little weaker. Know what I'm talking about? So let's go into um, let's go into the the standard news trade here. Okay, here's that Aussie in a slightly different perspective. You can see we have this going up. Let me readjust this target because we did it. <laughs> we actually set that up last Thursday for this to drop and rise. I know, right? Isn't it funny? On Thursday, we're setting up trade plans for Monday. And then, then we log in on Monday and find out the trade plan has worked down and up. I know, right? Love it. Okay. But anyways, we've already covered it. USD CAD. Now, this one... I find uh, more challenging. Okay. I kind of want this to go down. Okay. But it really comes down to the setup. So a bear really isn't supposed to sell until we're about here. Um, I can see that they're kicking off four hour uh, moving averages. This is a similar out of position strategy. Uh, that we talked about in other pairs, where if I get rid of this, what 
you what a bear would expect in this situation is they're going to sell it hard because they're a bear. They're going to get it down into here and they're looking to take profit. This looks like an Arctic turtle. Uh, so anyways, you'll probably, if it continues, you'll probably find it on the way down here. And today, tomorrow, or Wednesday morning, we're going to be down in this cluster. And to mark this, I'll use a triangle. But not a Gertley! I'll use it to remind us that if we find ourselves sort of down here, to the left of, of the center of the week, so if we're down this area before New York Wednesday, we'll find ourselves heading back up. Not a V-shaped reversal, more like profit taking. Come on. Looking like 25-year-old Wayne, really? <laughs> I was much pretty. I'm very disappointed with my my look. I think it's because I'm in Georgia. I think it's because I'm middle-aged. But I used to be cool, man. I look I look at, I come out of my super cuts with my $9 haircut, and I, and I don't look cool. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I used to be a player, bro. No, right? Now I look like a preacher's son. So anyways, I need a... I need a dab of coolness. I think I'm maybe at that age where I'm supposed to buy a yellow Giardo. I don't know. I just can't bring myself to it. A friend of mine, he has a kid who's, I don't know, he's only like four years old, three years old. And the kid knows all the differences between uh, cars, right? He, he, he lives in Dubai, so... Uh, he knows the difference between various Lamborghinis and various Ferraris and American cars are big there. So he knows what a Camaro is and a Corvette and all that. And, you know, you ask him, hey, so what's your favorite car? And he's like, oh, you know, you might say a Murcielago, you might say a Corvette or something. Corvette's easier for a kid than Murcielago, but whatever, right? Aventador. And then you're like, hey, would you drive a Giardo? <laughs> Kids, like, I'm not joking, three and a half. He can barely speak. He's a tiny little kid. He speaks like a cartoon, right? I would never drive a Giardo. <laughs> I'm like, I love this kid. He's going crazy. He's like, I spit on your Giardo. <laughs> like, that kid rocks, man. <laughs> uh, anyway, so down and then some profit taking. Man, I like hanging out with you guys. You guys are cool, man. Give me a big hug. Oh, I like hanging with you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Let's get serious now, real serious, and get to work. All right. Well, how did we do on this one? If you remember, we drove it up this circle was a target and this horizontal line was to re-emphasize it was a target i drew most of these orange lines in advance of price so it looks like price that i just drew it over price but you may recall i drew all these lines before price actually went there so we we kind of got the lower high lower low lower high lower low right down into here which is just the old support. So again, I drew the gray zone and I grew the orange line, drew the orange line. Well, why is it priced to actually touching the orange line? It was a guess. It was my guesstimate. It's still pretty accurate. So anyways, we get down to support, double bottom, double top, double bottom, double top. Remember how I drew this? I said, I said this area, I think you should just expect it to stay in consolidation forever and ever and ever until it breaks out, right? 
And then, of course, this whole time, we wanted it, Euro USD to break out to the upside. So anyway, so I kind of drew this. Well, it did break to the upside. It did hit our target. It did retrace. It did drop in the roll reversal. And it looks like it is taking off to the upside. But that's how you trade breakouts. Breakout, pullback, gone. This is beautifully technical. Now, I have it emphasized as a bull because you know that's my bias. It's been my bias uh, for years, right? Right on. Me too, Raymond. So, right, breakout, pull back, buy it at the roll reversal, and hopefully it's long and gone. Now, could a bear sell it? A bear needs to sell it like now, but the problem is, you, you know, now, so what you'd need to do as a bear, drop into a 15-minute chart or a 5-minute chart, and uh, you need to look for um, an entry. Now, is this an entry? No. So you need, really, you need a down, a high, like, this, this is a dangerous spot to sell. Oops, didn't mean to do that. This is a dangerous spot to sell, but it is the right price. Doesn't mean it's the right time. Okay. So to use time, you would use a, a pattern, like let's say a reversal pattern, uh, or lower high, lower low, or something. Let me draw it this way. Oops. Just to emphasize this. Let's do it more like this. You know what? I do want to bring it down a little further. All right. Because I want to breach this. Um, and then bring it down. Okay. So that's probably where you take your shot if you were a bear. Okay. Yeah, Luis was Luis reminds me. Yeah, when I drew the analysis, I'm, I was making the point like it. You can you need to have the mindset of this moving sideways forever and ever and ever until it breaks, and then it did break like 20 minutes later. Uh, okay, it's true that did happen. Um, but it's still the mindset that your your job isn't to guess that it's going to break out. Your job is to buy it after it's broken out. And not this big, stupid green candle. Right? It's the breakout pullback is where you buy it. Right? That's, that's simply how you do it. Okay. Buy it at the rule reversal. You are not alone. All right, so boom, shalaka laka. Did you get what? All right, so beautiful. Right? Up, 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 down, down, buy. Up, 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 down, down, buy. Up, 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 down, down, buy. This was the up, 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 up. If you remember, this was the profit target. I did this for you on Thursday or Friday, but we said, look left, right? <laughs> I shouldn't say, look left, okay? Look left. There used to be resistance here. There used to be resistance here. So you drag that to the right, and somewhere in that gray zone is typically your buy zone. Okay. So I think it's fair to say uh, there's one, two, three now. Really, there's more than that in here, but there's at least three solid trade plans in here that have worked, one after the other after the other.
Farrell says it's 5 a.m. in San Francisco. Yeah, so I used to work from, when I lived in San Francisco, I worked from oh, 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. was my typical day. Cool, right? Stairway to heaven. So I hope you guys mark your charts up like this um, so that your trades are clear. You can see how this is up, 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 down, down. All right, up, 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 down, down. Look left. This this top predicts that bottom. All right. Up, up, up. Okay. What else is going on here? Well, here's your roll reversal um, uh, counter trend type trade. Okay. The target for this is this thin little black line, which we hit almost immediately. And then, of course, price basically stopped. Then there's something happened on Friday, but whatever. Looks like that was non-farm payrolls. Okay, great. Then what? The following week, this is a buy zone for swing longs, for bulls, not bears. This is a buy zone. Monday morning, right at the open, this is a buy zone for bulls. The target for that is this red zone, which it hit. Cool. But along the way, we almost hit it. It dropped. Right? Roll reversal, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're a bull that was interested in buying this, you know that you're out of position here. Like many of the other currency pairs we've looked at, okay, out of position, typically you're buying off the 4-hour 21 EMA. So let's take a look at that. Oh, there it is. I know, right? Right, there's the 4-hour 21 which says two things. It's bu You're bullish in a bullish market. Uh, and second thing it says is we should top out early in the week, in which case you'd be a fool not to take profit. That's all. Golden oil. So how are you going to treat this? I think we, you know, I would propose that we're buying in there. Okay. So we'll leave that as support. Okay. Bulls already had their opportunity. I'm looking at this though, and I'm not necessarily bullish. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we did this a couple of weeks ago where we said we I highlighted this area as the high and this area down here is the low. And in fact, it could even be lower than this. But I think we're trading this um, sideways, aren't we now? Anyways, um, let's zoom in a little bit. A bull that bought this roll reversal. So there's some small support into here, right? Bye, 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 right? Um, they're going to drive it up to this area here. So basically just the top of this range. Um, bears are in their danger zone. If you're a bear on gold, which means you're a bull on U.S. dollar, you're going to look at this area with, right, with great vengeance and furious anger. Right? You will sell uh, gold up in that price. Okay. Remember, in this case, I'm identifying the market as sideways, so you don't use this 2155. So if you're looking at this going, oh my gosh, I got to sell that 2155. Uh, no, 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 no. Only if you're trending. See, if you're moving sideways, there's no, it's not a bullish market, it's not a bearish market, so that you wouldn't use tools to measure the market because there is no market. Okay. So I would delete the 2155 on this point of view. Of course, you, you should be using multiple time frames, right? So 
But on this time frame with this analysis, I'd say there's no market. Okay, and if the trend is sideways, well, then there's it's not an uptrend, it's not a downtrend. So all there is is price. Okay. So now I'm trying to simplify as much as possible. We don't need this channel anymore because all I'm using this channel for is to confirm that we've broken the channel, that we've broken the trend. Okay. So now uh, dropping back into, uh, let's go back to this hourly chart. Okay. So now the only thing I care about are two things. S Support and resistance being one thing, support or resistance, and then price action. Price action defined by 5A crosses, really. Okay? So, if I get 5A crosses here or here or here or here, if I'm trading it as a range, um, really, really I should ignore them. Really. Um, that depends on how conservative you are. So if you are identifying, let's say, this and this as a range, these orange lines, right? You could. Therefore, if you're up here, you sell the 5A cross down. If you, if you find this is uh, support, you buy the 5A cross up. And feel free to drop into smaller time frames as well. You're just going to get more crossing. But your logic could be here, okay? I like it here, so let's leave it there. So you would buy here, buy near the orange line or sell near the orange line, okay? Let's, right? Let's do it that way. All right, that's one area. The other way to measure it is this is the more, this is the bigger range, the macro range top, macro range bottom, and the same thing. You would 5A cross down or you'd 5A cross up. Every 5A cross that doesn't, that exists without support or resistance does, is fake. Okay? So I don't care what it does. You can add oscillators to this too if you prefer using the stochastics. It's fine. Okay? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to clean this up. It's time. Okay? So the most important thing is we get to whatever you define as support or resistance. Okay? And you do nothing unless it's at support or resistance. So another way of saying it is you are not allowed to buy it unless you're at support. You're not allowed to sell it unless you're at resistance. Then, if you're at support, you can buy the 5A cross up. Or, if you're at resistance, you can sell the 5A cross down. Okay. And then it's up to you to identify the range. Okay. So you could play it as bottom range and top range if you want. Let's expand it up a little bit, right? So you could play buy, sell, buy, sell, or, right, sell, buy, sell, buy, and treat it as two ranges. Upper range, lower range. Upper bound, lower bound. Any questions about that? Huh? Hey, don't forget the like. Boy, I look terrible. Don't forget the like, though, guys. Come on. Let me know we're covering the stuff you want to cover. I want to make sure you're happy. Tell me you're happy. And then we'll do oil. Okay. So we've already marked all of this up well ahead of time. And now I feel like we're in the middle. Let me get rid of some of this old analysis. Don't want you confused. But we had this going up into resistance, down, and then find a trend. Okay? I kind of feel like we've pretty much done everything, and now we lack direction. Fundamentally, I would want up. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot about the disco light stuff. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I got I put the LEDs on. But I have LEDs. Here's the thing. I bought a whole bunch of LEDs for my movie theater. And one of the packages um, came with one that is USB powered. So they're like, hey, you know, you, bought, you, paid too, you paid us too much money. We feel sorry. Here's a free gift. So anyways, I plug it in there. But I got like 10 remotes now for all these LED stuff. And I can't, I can't find the right one. And whatever. I just gave up. So it's plugged in there. Uh, I'm going to have it set on red for Trader's Way, I think. Um, uh, I just, you know, I forget. I, I I don't care. I forget. I don't even see them anymore. Um, but, yeah, so anyways, I apologize for the disco ball stuff. All right, oops. Okay. So anyways, I feel like now that we're, we're, we're just sort of lacking direction on oil. Now, fundamentally speaking, I would like oil to go up. And <laughs> Roger, first world problems. Well, what do you, what, 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 you have third world problems, Rog? Ah. So anyways, there's that. Yeah, apologies. I'm really tired. I look like crap, huh? Holy smokes. So we did yen pairs. We did dollar pairs. Well, many of the dollar pairs. We did gold and oil. Any last requests? Well, anyways... Jumbo, Roger. Jumbo, may your day be less difficult than usual. That's what I always say. Uh, John says destroyed demand because of the hurricane. Uh, I don't buy that at all. Why don't you trade Aussie dollar as it pays a small swap uh, against the dollar, but the dollar pays a large swap. So why would you trade Aussie dollar instead of Aussie yen or Aussie Swiss franc? Aussie, so Aussie will pay you money and Swiss franc will pay you money. But, but Aussie, don't, remember the United, the interest rate in the United States is very high relative to other countries. So Aussie dollar, no, uh, but consider Aussie Swiss franc. So, why don't we do that? Kiwi Yen. Yeah, you know what? I, I didn't cover it. It's the same as everything else that we've covered, right? It's just, to me, it's just all the same. Um, Swissy. Yeah, but even then, John, um, I don't know. Even then, I, I, I guess I'm just... Uh, I, I don't I don't buy it. I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just even if it were true, I wouldn't trade it. I, I don't think it's true. My gut, like put it this way, John. I didn't do the analysis. I haven't done the work. I don't know what kind of back testing and back back benchmarking and all that kind of like if you've looked at the last twenty seven hurricanes and what happened and blah 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 blah. Like if you have that, then that's your alpha. I don't have that alpha. Um so, you know, ignorance is bliss, right? So I wouldn't trade that. But if, you, if you've done the work, then you deserve it. And I just didn't notice that the, 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 what you're talking about is demand destruction, right? Right? So, yeah, I just, I just don't have that shot in my bag today. So I hope you're right, and I hope you make tons of money. Yeah, Aussie sucks. So, like, we go back to this, right? 
Like, look how beautiful it is, actually. So I, I'd actually, I'd counter-argue that with Ozzy's great. Uh, Kevin, I'm in the process of doing that and making it super beautiful and all that kind of stuff. Okay. But yeah, look how wonderful Ozzy is, right? Down, 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 up, up, sell. Down, 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 up, up, sell. This one didn't even get her back up. Just down, okay? Now, some consolidation. So uh, if you were to be long on this, is all I'm saying, relative to the Aussie USD, USD is charging a huge interest rate, which would offset this one. But it, Swiss franc pays you and Aussie pays you. So I think you'd be better off here. <laughs> Kevin, I love you too, Kev. Kevin Rock. Kevin the Rock Star. Yeah, that, that'd be good. So if you wanted to do that, you'd have to find some support and all that kind of stuff. And we're not quite there, and it's very, 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 very bearish. So uh, yeah. You probably don't want to hold long term to the sell side. But if you were going to buy it, that would be it. But the thing is, Aussie's so weak, right? Right. So if you wanted to buy something, this is actually set up beautifully. Um, let's go to the hourly chart. Okay. This is set up. Okay. So this is going back to last week's swing trade plan. Uh, this was set to rise up into here, hit it perfectly and stopped. Notice that we did it on a, it hit it on a Tuesday, so you expect it to counter, right? Great, so it did, great. So now here we are Monday morning. Let, let me let me really zoom in here. Now we're here Monday morning. If you're a bull, your aggressive entry is this price right here. You're like, well, crap, bola, that's where we are now. Right? So that's kind of where we are now. A bull is going to want to buy that first. Plan B, by the way. And remind yourself, that's what I'm trying to teach you. When, you. when you're trading, always, always, always create plan A. The first area, if you're a bull, the first area or first price you would buy. And plan B, the second price you would buy. I, that means in most cases here, in that amount of time, which is about 10 seconds, I've planned out my entire week. So imagine that it's Wednesday and you're sitting down at your computer, you're booting up Windows, and you're like, I wonder what's going to happen today. You've already lost money. Okay. So if you say, I wonder what's going to happen today. Well, you're going to lose money. Okay. <clears throat> so in this case, if you're opening up the pound Swissy and it's Wednesday, you should already know if you, that you're a bull. You should already know your prices. <coughs> All that kind of stuff, and you're asking yourself, you know, I hope it, I hope I get my price. You already know what you want to buy. You already know what price you want to buy it. And it's a, you're asking completely different questions. <coughs> well, Kevin, swing trading occurs typically Friday or Monday. Okay. All right, Euro Swissy. Request for Euro Swissy. I think I have it here. Sure. Okay. What do you think? Doesn't look awesome on a five minute chart. It's at the right price on a 15 minute chart. Hmm. Really depends if you're a bull or a bear. If you're a bull, 
This is a great place to buy. You just need technical confirmation of bullishness. Plan A, plan B. So if you're a bull, plan A is this. If you're a bull, plan B is this. Okay. That's it. This is a failed lower low, lower high. That didn't occur it's a failed trade plan never got your entry so anyways this is where we are here plan a plan b so you should probably be watching this on a chart like this look and what are you looking for bullish reversals right so you maybe you treat this as a triple bottom maybe you buy the 5a cross maybe you buy a 5a cross and a 15 to the up uh, maybe you need a higher high, higher low. So maybe you're waiting for treat this. Uh, treat. How would I do this? I guess treat this as a top. Treat this as a bottom. Okay. So now you got yourself a range. So what if it did this over the next hour or so? It broke out. You have to choose. This is now a second top. It's your choice. Okay. But maybe you buy a dip after this first breakout and treat it like a one, two, three reversal. Yeah, you know, John, yeah. Not disagreeing with you, just saying I, I didn't price it up. It's just not my trade plan. Yeah, I was trading uh, Hong Kong and uh, there was a lot of concern about uh, a typhoon out there. When I was in uh, Hong Kong last August, uh, we were in a typhoon uh, category 10. And I'm at the top of the tallest building in Hong Kong, swimming in a swimming pool, the highest swimming pool in the world. And it's swaying like this. And the water's going up the ladder. And then whoa, 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 whoa. And then up the ladder. And I got to the point where the water would go like this and spill against the glass window. <laughs> and so I sat next to the glass window. I took a video and everything, and I Skyped my wife and kids. I'm like, look, I'm in a swimming pool on the 140th floor. My daughter started crying. And I'm like, what are you crying about, baby? My wife's like, you're going to die. i Imagine that. They're like, how did your husband die? Oh, well, you're swimming on the 140th floor during a t t class 10 typhoon. <laughs> and the whole building fell over and the window broke and he was thrown out. And like, dude, what an epic way to go. <laughs> epic. Oh. Yeah, epic. <laughs> you know, you could just see someone uh, doing their family tree 200 years from now. And then they're like, and then there's great, great Uncle Wayne. Yeah, he crazy. <laughs> they won't remember anybody else, but they'll remember that one. A story they'll tell for the ages. So anyways. Well, I guess it's been another day. Uh, thank you very much for um, hanging with me. Thank you very much for being a client of Trader's Way. We really appreciate you. We love you. We care about you. We want you to succeed. Because currency trading is dangerous. I'll, I'll promise to have a better hair day for you tomorrow. I need an assistant. In turn hair. So anyways, I will be here tomorrow because I do care about you. Um, we do want you to succeed. So tomorrow um, should be a lovely trading day.
Um, make sure you subscribe so you can get invited to the live events. If you're watching a recording of this, just subscribe to the Forex.today channel. It brings you to these live webinars. It just brings you. Well, it says, hey, Wayne just started a new web webinar. Would you like to attend? And you're like, yes. And then it brings you right to the webinar. So it's super easy. Um, if I didn't cover a currency pair today uh, that you would like covered, like let's say you want me to cover natural gas. I, I have it, right? Um, ask, leave, leave a, leave a comment in the, uh, under the video, in the recording, just leave a comment of like, Hey Wayne, could you cover this currency pair? Or could you co cover this commodity? Or can you talk about this subject? Um, that kind of stuff. Um, so just please leave a comment. Uh, and of course visit traders way and open up a demo account. Okay. And I will see you tomorrow. So peace on earth. May the pips be with you. May your profits be above average. Take care.